first thing we should do is have a word with Thane. And I almost went into the women's restroom, which is not where he's, um, where he's staying on the ship. It's in here. Life support. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Kepril Syndrome. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Then don't live on Kaji, or use breathers. Drell have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Are you going to be all right until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to twelve months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. What exactly is the problem? My people are... are eventually, we suffocate. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. What I have read is that um, you can kind of hear there's something wrong with him, particularly if you have a relative who's suffered from emphysema or if you know somebody else who has, that you can hear in Thane's voice the same sorts of uh, sounds. And um, it might become clearer when we go back and talk to Farron, the other Drell that we've met who is uh, with Liara right now, um, because, you know, Anything that sounds abnormal in Thane's voice is not all just because he's not human, and that's um, intentional, apparently. But let's last ask him about other stuff right now. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. Hanar, the um, levitating jellyfish species that we uh, ha encountered actually more in Mass Effect 1 than we do in this game. Um, and they don't speak although like the ones in Mass Effect 1 had some kind of um, device that allowed them to produce um, that allowed them to like speak audibly like uh, it just converted whatever kind of communication they have into audible sounds that we could understand and our talk using bioluminescence that's more of an obstacle than their politeness true Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Um, 
Yeah, Hanard never struck me as the kind of people to hire assassins. All the ones that we met in Mass Effect 1 seem to be pretty harmless and peaceful kind of people. But I guess that just goes to show that you, you never know. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the Collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. Okay, yep. Um, oh, that will be helpful. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment I've already possible. upgraded the Normandy's exploration probes. I have no additional suggestions. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Do you mind if I ask Not you at a all. few questions? When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emon Kira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. All right, so everybody on this particular floor, um, What's wrong? They lost contact with New Canton. Might be the Collectors. Did your family get out of there? I don't know. There's no communications yet. I'm sure they're safe. Y you'll see. That may not be good. Ah, what the hell? Okay. Speaking of oceans and afterlife, let us feed these ocean dwellers so that they do not end up in the afterlife. Ha ha ha. Lame joke. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it, and he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. That is a dirty stereotype. In my case, it happens to be true, but still. <coughs> anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Ooh. It might not be so I've good. I've had an appointment with Shaira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? Hey, watch it. It's not like that at all. She's so... she's... Uh, you won't understand unless you meet her. Hmm. Yeah, um, Shaira gave us some helpful advice in the first game after we helped her out, and she also gave us a trinket that turned out to be interesting. Um, although, if you, although if you ask to have sex with her, then she will. But that's not the only thing she does, and that's not the only reason people visit her. 
Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks. Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? Uh, I I would, but uh, you know, I don't. I'm not sure how effective they'd be against the collectors. Like, I guess we could throw them at the collectors, but these guys, I think, are more deadly. I assume everything is going well up here. Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Well, I always like Tally, so let's just move on. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. shielding done to your power grid balance? Not much. With built-in capacitor subsystems, they have a surprisingly low draw. Doesn't that mean the shielding boost wouldn't last long under fire? True. They're built for hard, fast strikes, not firefights of attrition. I guess we'll have to be careful not to get hit too much then. Okay, Grant, what's wrong? Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. See, why do that? What's wrong? Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles, voices of warlords, but this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus, but here my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? Edie. Anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the homeworld to Chanka. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. All right. So now we have two reasons to go to Tuchanka. One is we want to uh, check out what's going on with um, with Morden's old colleague from Salarian Special Forces, who has apparently been captured by Krogan. And this is the guy who helped Morden and several others modify the genophage to keep on working and keep on preventing the Krogan from breeding, so they might be doing bad stuff to him. And we would, uh, Morden would be grateful if we stopped that. And now we, um, need to go and talk to some Krogan and see if they can tell us what's wrong with Grunt. But... What we'll want to do first, we we'll want to pick up the last person we're supposed to recruit. Go see Liara. I'm going to do that now. Um, and we will. Hmm. Then I guess we can go and start taking care of all this stuff that people on our team want us to do for them. There's a lot.
I've set up a few terminals with information I think you'll find interesting. Take a look. Welcome back, Shadow Broker. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. Now, you would expect the um, most, um, the biggest information broker in the galaxy to um, have a lot of information on everybody, and you would be right in that expectation right here. We have dossiers on a number of people we have met. Um, let's look at the file on um, Grunt, since we just talked to him. Recent extranet activity. He searched for Krogan history, which led him to reading about Great Wars, leading to genophage spelled with an F, erased, Krogan victories. Uh, and uh, he searched for Okir and Great Generals. He searched for Tuchanka, spelled T O O, Chanka, and then he deleted that and spelled it the right way. Uh, he searched for Ernot Rex, which is wrong. It's Erdnot Rex. He searched for Battlemaster Shepard. Modified Commander Shepard. He got the title right there. Modified Commander Shepard Normandy. I guess that got him what he was looking for. He then searched for Animal Fights and Large Predators. Then try, try, he searched for Tyrannosaurus Rex, spelled like Rex, or not Rex, like W R E X. And then he um, erased that and tried Earth Lizard Rex. Um, and then he gave up and searched for dinosaurs. Uh, recent terminal activity Battlemaster Humans uh, erased Earth Humans. He should have, that probably got a lot of results. Earth is where humans come from after all. Did another search for Earth human history and then for Earth wars. And downloaded 6.1T, I guess, terabytes? 6.1T uh, news footage, human general historical conflict. Search warrior humans. Downloaded 2.1 terabytes or T or what if that is not terabytes something else documentary footage human general historical major military figures Search for great humans and then for honored humans Downloaded 0.7 T news footage human achievement awards search for great storytellers human search for war stories Downloaded 0.67 T literature human writers conflict Search human Homer Kipling Hemingway. He used too many M's in Hemingway. Downloaded 0.13T literature human writers Ernest Hemingway. He spelled Ernest like sincere with an A. Um, download 0.06 audio T audiobooks. The sun also rises 14% completed. For whom the bell tolls 100% completed. A farewell to arms deleted. Guess he didn't like that. Um, the old man in the sea. He he downloaded all of that, and then he searched for sharks to find out more about them. This is what the equivalent of what Wikipedia is and other such sites in the um, in the 22nd century. Recent transactions. He ordered a catalog. Ultra Black Ops Mega Catalog. Purchased a. Um, case premium uh, 5 for slash ER engine oil video download the madness of sacrifice the unauthorized biography of warlord oak here I wonder what was in there purchased um, economy box fish dog food factory tasty bites video downloaded when fauna attacks volumes 1 to 10 purchased um, bad taxes hot Fish spice. 
video download Vienna. oh yeah you you see that mentioned a few other places in the game it's like basically a sorry porn um he downloaded a sorry confessions 26 true blue and he purchased fornax special spotlight krogan edition we well, bought a fornax magazine earlier it's that too is that is also porn um and he bought Captain Cosmic Action Figures. Gar, the Krogan Battlemaster with real smash your enemies action. <laughs> Read more about other people later on.